Good morning. I would like to share a few quick thoughts about how we solve our traffic and climate issue. Um, and it's, it's actually pretty simple. I think first we have to understand that we are out of choices. We do not have certain choices. We cannot choose do we want to fly for holiday or not. We simply cannot, right? There's like certain things that are allowed in the natural world and that is like we are allowed to use as much resources that you need for survival and you're not allowed to use more resources. So flying for holiday is not really related to our survival. That's like nice to have, certainly not need to have. So this is the dimension we have to think in, right? We have to think how can we cover our survival priorities and there are six of them like food, water, shelter, air, community and health. Yeah, so we need to cover those six of our priorities in a sustainable way. How can we cover them in the with the least impact? Uh, why don't we do it? So transport is like a big issue. Um, basically, transport has never been an issue because we simply walked everywhere. So nowadays it's become a really huge issue because we need very fossil intense infrastructure to fulfill our transport desires, not needs really. Um, of course, we have changed our lifestyle that they appear to be needs, right? We have families living far apart, we have friends far away, and it's legal and advertised to um, travel to faraway places. But it's certainly not part of the solution. So looking at our situation globally, and not talking about climate change only, right? Like believe in climate change or not, you know, we are not allowed to live in this way, uh, if you think like this. So, um, but... There's, there's really one way to reduce our global um, impact from the transport sector very easily, and that is just by deciding um, to reduce, right? And that doesn't mean like reduce in life quality. That's simply reducing in, in the size and the speed of life. So I, for my part, I would like to, uh, or I'm doing my best to reduce myself to bicycle speed and bicycle distances. Um, simply because a bicycle is a vehicle which is lighter than myself. And I think that's a pretty good start already. Um, whenever you use a vehicle that is heavier than you, you probably are not doing something quite right. Yeah, so uh, of course we have a lot of like vehicles which are a lot heavier, like trucks that we need to transport construction materials, for example. Um, but... A lot of these construction materials are not necessary either. Like um, that would be in another another video about shelter buildings. Um, so transport is really simple, like reduction to in, in terms of distance, in terms of speed also. So vehicles which are lighter than ourselves, that's a very good starting point. Um, and then before we talk about like replacing our fleet of of um, of private vehicles with electric vehicles, we really should be talking about how we make better use of the existing one. Um, last time I looked, it was like 1.2 people per vehicle here in Finland as the average, and most kilometers um, in, in the country and the year of all people were driven on distances smaller than 60 kilometers. Um, and most cars, most of the time, stand around unused, right? So. We can easily just by by taking a bicycle with a bicycle trailer. Yeah, just you know, take a couple of bicycles, uh, and and screw them like old old parts of bicycle and screw together um, some bicycle trailer. And it it actually a bicycle trailer really is almost half a car. In in my opinion, it's more than half a car because you can do so much where you'd otherwise use a car for. So. That's one thing. And the other thing that's maybe like, you know, it might sound really like a big step, but when you think of the magnitude of our problems or our situation, then it's actually not such a bad idea. Um, there was a time in, I believe, China somewhere a long time ago, some dynasty, where there was no, um, not enough funding to support the big road network that they had. So instead of um, saying, okay, we only have money to support half of the roads and the other half of the roads we just let rot, they decided to just reduce the width of the road network. So if there would be a 12 meter wide road, they decided to only uh, maintain the middle six meters of this.
um, is essentially like saving a lot on resources. The road network, this like the maintenance of the road network, is very very fossil resource intense, and we simply cannot use fossil resources um, unless they go 100% back to 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 nature, right? So like turning fossil resources into bitumen and cement and tar, like uh, like for road construction nobody has used for those materials um so not a good idea like nobody else than us humans right so i i think th this like you know that's that's a step where we think like yeah but no come on we need our roads yes we think we do we think we do and they are certainly useful and it's it's somehow a transition maybe but essentially like we could be really fine with just half of the road network in terms of width which would encourage um lightweight traffic right vehicles which only have two wheels instead of four like bicycles for example lighter vehicles and they would still be wide enough to have ambulance and fire trucks driving around them yeah so anything else about transport yeah, car sharing. Yeah, that's um, a big one also. And then like electric vehicles. Come on, like we know this is just like a technical fix for a mental problem. We know this. Like we do not need um, vehicles basically. When you when you look that we are born naked, we don't really need vehicles at all. So when we want to have vehicles, let's make better use of the existing ones. Uh, maybe upgrade them. Right, upgrade them to to run on biogas or or some other waste materials, yeah. Uh, instead of going now the next step and and making it elect, it's not the next step. It's a step back, really. So, like we we need we need resources for building all these electric vehicles. Um, the the materials needed. Um, the way they are mined, the energy it takes to build those vehicles. It's like it stands in no relation to our situation, right? We have to really reduce to the absolute minimum. It's like really emergency. Like I'm, I'm wondering if my own child will, will see a world uh, which is still possible to live when he's a grown up. Yeah. So it, it's, it's really, we have to act yesterday. Yeah, so, and we have to act big time. And it's no, like, waiting for laws to change, for policies to change, that's going to be too slow. Uh, waiting for corporations to slow, to change, probably also going to be too slow. Yeah, as long as somebody thinks money over nature, the motivation isn't right either. So, or anyway. So, the fastest thing is, like, decide, you and me, we have to make these decisions right now. Yeah, and and there's there's no way around it. If you are interested in survival, then this is there's no way around it. If you're like no interested in survival, then what you're actually doing is suicide already. So then you might even like you know save save everyone else a lot of trouble and speed up a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's my thought about traffic. Um, tell me what you think and. Maybe I forgot something. Probably I forgot something. But um, take good care and slow down. Bye-bye.